Well, good morning everyone. It's a very nice Friday morning. It's going to be a bit of a scorcher today. I think it's going to be about 24 degrees later. Which is uh, summer, summer temperatures. Uh, I'm doing a bit of an impromptu shift today. I had a few hours spare. I'm uh, free until about lunchtime. So I'm going to work. It's just gone 8.30 in the morning. I'm going to uh, work till lunchtime. And uh, we're heading over to East Dulwich, where we've got a few screw fix jobs already lined up, both with local drop-offs. They're paying £7.39 each, so a uh, good way to start the day. It's not going to be, I mean, it could be, but I don't think it's going to be particularly busy today. But we'll see what we can do. And I thought, if I am waiting around between uh, jobs, I might uh, talk you through my... Someone commented a while ago, I can't remember who it was, saying uh, maybe you should review your, your work bike. So I might talk you through my uh, the bike I use and why I use it. Got some work to do first before I can do that. Everyone seems so much happier now it's nice weather. Yeah, I've got, got two here, uh, 9594, and the other one is 0421. Nice one, thanks fella. Top man, thank you. That's all right, it's all right. I think it's too heavy for a bag anyway, isn't it? <laughs> nice one, thank you. Good start. going to deliver these actually in the opposite order of what the app wants me to do because first delivery is going back to Peckham and the second one's in Dulwich but I want to end up back in Dulwich so I'm going to get the Peckham one out the way. Dulwich is a bit of a nightmare to be honest traffic wise. especially when it's school time. I've got a little uh, shortcut I use around here. I'll start talking about my bike actually while I ride to these jobs. I'll show you around the bike next time I've got a quiet, quiet moment, which I'm sure there will be one. Yeah, so this is the Honda Vision 110. Almost every single delivery rider will use one of the following scooters either be a Yamaha X-Max, a Honda Forza, a Honda PCX, a Honda SH, a Honda SH Mode or a Honda Vision. Those are the main scooters that delivery riders use. It's relatively subjective I guess from a, we're going to be talking about this bike from a work perspective doing deliveries in London. It's relatively subjective what you want to go for. Here comes a uh, courier, he's on a, that's a Yamaha X-Max, that's a maxi scoot. So I guess your first decision is do you want a maxi scoot or a traditional scooter? Maxi scoots being larger. Yeah, it's an interesting one. 
maxi scoots I'd say are more once you're going they're probably more comfortable better suspension they've got more underseat storage things like that it's a bit more of a luxurious ride however they're heavier more difficult to manoeuvre and when you do a lot of uh, tight filtering in London they're just that bit bigger which makes that a bit more difficult so to cut to the chase I've essentially opted for the cheapest most easy to use lightest and smallest scooter which I think is what you want when delivering in London I guess it's a different question if you're going to use your bike for personal means as well. My bike here I use is purely for work. But if you're going to use your bike outside of work as well, then that probably does change the equation a bit. But for just for work, I think you want cheapest to run, cheapest to maintain, and most frugal on fuel. Because basically, when you're doing this job, you're self-employed. All the expenses are coming out of your pocket. The fuel, the maintenance, the insurance the cost of buying the bike and I, re I really suggest buying your bike outright if you can buy used I mean this bike was under a thousand pounds but a lot of riders get a brand new shiny bike on tick on finance and I just don't think that's worth it I need to concentrate now got to walk this over because you can't ride down Peckham Rye Lane anymore. Well, maybe you can, it's certainly, uh, there's restrictions and I ugh, don't, I don't risk it. I haven't actually looked at the sign recently, what's it say? Except for loading 7am to 10, I mean, I probably would be okay as it is before 10, but playing it safe. Right, where am I going then? Odds, odd number, other side of the street. Oh. Okay, it's in here, which makes sense, it's building site. That bell didn't light up or make a noise, so I'm not sure that's working. Right, that actually uh, fit through the letterbox of the uh, construction site there. So that's all good. That's delivered. Yes, yeah, so I, I guess it, it makes sense to talk through the pros and cons of my bike. Well, the pros are, as I've touched on, it's the cheapest bike you can buy. It was, uh, mine's a 2012 model, so it's old, but the mileage was super low and you had 4,000 miles. And I always think mileage is, is more relevant than age when it comes to simple, simple bikes like this. Also, probably the cheapest to put fuel in and efficiency wise. Won't be much in it between the scooters. But I mean, fuel's expensive at the moment. Well, I say at the moment as if it's gonna come down in price. Fuel is expensive and it's only gonna go one way. But this is about six, seven pounds to fill up and I'll get two long days of work out of that so it's economical it's also the sit I like to do a lot of the mechanics myself certainly the basic maintenance like oil changes air filter changes spark plugs things like that and this is the simplest bike to work on as well which I think is a good thing it's also incredibly light it's the lightest scooter you can get for sure which when you're getting, when you're manoeuvring the bike, putting it onto the center stand all day long, on and off, on and off, that makes a difference. Also, there will be times you need to push your bike as well. You either need to um, push it up, maybe a no access road or something, or you need to go up a one way street and you want to push it on the pavement or you just get caught in a tight place. You need to push it out something. And this bike is, is really easy to push around. It's like pushing around a heavy bicycle. It's, it's, it's no, 
you do not work up a sweat or get out of breath pushing this bike around. Obviously you would eventually, but ease of use is another thing advanced. I mean all scooters are easy to use. They're all they're all automatic, they're all twist and go. And it's essentially the same riding experience on them all, but a maxi scoop, for example, is gonna be a, a minor, and I mean a minor, a minor effort to get on and off it and to handle it around. And you might say, well, that's not a big deal, but when you're getting on and off the bike constantly, every day, all day, it adds up. And I think you wanna make your life as easy as possible and get a bike that's effortless to get on and off, which this bike is. A bike that you can get your feet completely flat on the deck, no tippy toes. And that's why I like the Vision. And it'd be a similar story on the other non-maxi scoots, like an N-Max or an SH. And that adds to the comfort. I mean, the comfort of this bike, you can argue... Which way is he turning? You can argue both ways. This is the crudest of the scooters, so in that sense it's uncomfortable in that it's only got a single-sided rear shock and a basic one at that. Small wheels, bit of a crude seat. So in that sense it's, it's comfortable. It's not uncomfortable, but it's less comfortable than the others. But then on the other hand, it's lighter to manoeuvre, it's easiest to get on and off, so in that sense it's, it's comfortable. So it swings both ways. One negative of this bike, it's not a negative per se, but compared to the other scooters you can get, is the performance. This is the acceleration, the top speed. This will be the least capable out of the other bikes. Um, but for me, you don't need performance doing this job. You need things like reliability, and ease of use. So again, it's where you stand on these things. I'm trying to think what the other downsides of this particular bike, I think the looks of it, it's got not any style. I'll show you the looks next time I stop actually. It's certainly not a looker, it's a utilitarian, it's a utilitarian bike, which again, I think you see where I stand on these things. Yeah, which I think is what you want from a work bike. Right, I'm getting near to this next drop off now. So I'll get this job done and then finish off what I wanted to say, but there's not really too much to say. I mean, I've kind of summarized it there. What's good about the bike is its reliability, how cheap it is, easy to maintain, easy to use. It's, it's the bare bones of what you need and nothing more. And I think personally, it's a waste of money to use anything else for jobs like this because these jobs you know they're so precarious and the earnings are up and down and you know you can't rely on it fully i mean what i was saying earlier about most a lot of scooter riders get a brand new shiny bike on tick i don't know what their monthly payments are it's probably i don't know 150 quid maybe more and then pcp and all these finance packages you get and then you can give the bike back at the end of the terms as long as it's not damaged or you haven't exceeded the mileage but I mean doing this job you the bike's gonna get beat up you're using it every day it's gonna happen you know you're gonna drop it at some point if you don't scratch it another road user will scratch it you know things like that and to be worrying about your mileage you're gonna do it's it's not worth the stress also there's a high chance the bike will get nicked as well <clears throat> as we know on this channel I've had my other bike nicked so you know there's pressure in this job to hit your earnings targets you know and each day is different to the last you know there's no guaranteed earnings so I think to add a payment a monthly payment to that scenario that you have to make is, is crazy and obviously if you get a bike on finance you're going to be charged interest so you're going to be paying more for the bike than what it's worth so I really do encourage anyone who who's looking to get into this job either full-time part-time don't please buy a used cheap bike these scooters they're everywhere they're abundant and they're reliable you don't need a brand new shiny bike as i said this bike cost me i think it was about 950 pounds and it does everything you need but there's enough outgoings in this job you do not want to add a payment plan to that anyway that's my uh possibly patronizing lecture taken care of
Right. Screw fix for you. Thank you. Done. Those two jobs paid 14.78, and it's not even half nine. Things we like to see. Has Dulwich Village always been, you know, back in the 70s, 80s, 90s? Was it always super posh and wealthy? Okay. Well, we're back here. We're going to wait, possibly for some more work for Screwfix, but there's plenty of restaurants and cafes around here. And uh, if after 15 minutes or so there's no work, I'll, I'll move on, work some other areas. But yeah, that's what the bike looks like. I think it's a bit of a design classic, actually. But yeah, it's certainly not... You're not going to get any street cred on it. And it's uh, super simple. But yeah, as I was saying earlier about, yeah, it's just got the one-sided shock and a basic one at that. So, you know, it is a, it is a bumpy ride. Look at... I probably look like a bike thief doing this, checking out these bikes. But that's an N Max there, and that's an SH. That's the probably if I was going to change bike, I don't want to. I would probably get that bike there, which is a Honda SH. That would just be pretty much as easy to get on and off and easy to use. But it's got it would be a much more comfortable, well, slightly more comfortable ride and a bit more performance. Yeah, nothing more to say about it really. But yeah, that's my review of the Honda Vision, Honda Vision 110. And I, I do recommend it. Got a job there coming through on Uber from Joe and the Juice, but it's going too far for too little money. So I'm going to hold off for something better. Just like that, we got ourselves another screw fix job, which is what I was hoping for. Again, local drop off paying £8.35, which is a really good rate of pay. It's just come through, so I'm going to sit here for a bit in the sun and let them uh, let them prep it. Good. It occurred to me. I'll, I'll show you actually the. I'll show you actually around the bike. So my one isn't keyless. I'm not sure if the new visions are. They probably are. But yeah, you've got the ignition the ignition down there, the key, and then it's simply the lights are always on. But then you've got to press that up for full beam. Obviously, I've got my quad lock mount there. Clips on there. You've got the horn. And then you've got the indicators down there, the ignition switch, and that's my heated grips controller. That's it. Nothing else. And then to lift the seat up, there's a key here. Bam. Fuel goes in there. Small seat. You could fit a maybe a size small or a medium helmet in there. I don't think you could get a large helmet in there. Fuel gauge, speedo. The odometer. That's it. Obviously, don't know if it needs to be said, the Vision doesn't come with a front screen, which you probably do want in the winter time. But obviously aftermarket ones can be fitted. Delivery order coming in, which will probably be paying garbage fee, which it is. 0 0.9 miles away for £8.35. That is what I'm talking about. Yeah, the fees on Deliveroo have not been great for a long time, and they've got even worse. And I'd actually be tempted to say Uber pays better fees now than Deliveroo, so I don't know what's happened with Deliveroo. Also, any other courier riders that um, watch my channel, would you rather earn less money but work in nice weather, or do you rather work in bad weather and earn more money? doesn't always work out like like this morning for example I'm earning I'm busy and earning good money but typically the nicer the weather the quieter it is winter it's busier and when it's chucking down the rain it's busier oh. screw fix there nice one thank you very much thanks mate cheers Yeah, nice. Dragon Smoke. Scenery for film, TV, theatre and events. Dragon Smoke construction. And a Bentley outside. That is good for me to see because uh, I am training in the process of uh, becoming a joiner. Yeah, I'm in the process of becoming a carpenter slash joiner. Ultimately, I want to do joinery. 
um, and it's good for me to see places like that as I'm trying to get as much uh, varied work as possible as I uh, train up as I get qualifications and uh, work experience and things and that is what I do outside of doing and I do this on the side two three days a week or as and when I need uh, I need more money Thank you. Bye. Got ourselves a super local groceries drop off, paying three pounds fifteen, which is the minimum fare. Certainly on a moped, the delivery pay. Lots of heavy drinks and flimsy bags. the bread as well. Oh mate, come on. It's annoying because I'll be blamed for breaking the bread. Oh there, you've got I've got another bag for you as well. There we go. Watch the bag doesn't break on that one. It's okay. a bit flimsy. Uh, Thank 85. You. 85. Thank you. I've just been sat here basking in the sun. As it's gone quiet, I've decided I'm going to um, stop working now and uh, crack on with the rest of my day. Um, I have actually just accepted one last um, order on Uber Eats, um, which I'm going to do, but I won't record. So I'm going to do that and then finish. It's been about 30 quid in just over two hours which is fine and i'm sure it will picked up in a in a short while as it's lunchtime but yeah i'm going to end the video there yeah thanks for watching thanks for subscribing thanks for liking but yeah talk 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 to you through my bike which i haven't done before and yeah if you've got any questions uh, about bikes and things want any if i can offer any advice or tips or anything i'll uh, gladly give it yeah earned a bit of money now off to get on with the rest of my day so I'll see everyone on the next video.